Hello, Mioni here, and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV, this time a news video talking about the Glamoured to Life Digital Fan Festival event. So as we all know, the Digital Fan Festival is something a lot of us are looking forward to. And, you know, as much as it's digital, it doesn't mean necessarily we have to leave behind all of that fun cosplay sort of stuff. So that's what Glamoured to Life actually is. It says, it's time to show your favourite character, such as an NPC, your warrior of light, or a monster, etc. How much you appreciate them. We're hosting a real-life glamour showcase themed around dressing up as your favourite character in the upcoming digital fan festival for 2021. Don't have a desire to craft a costume or not used to dressing up in one? Worry not, you can simply wear simple pieces like hats, masks or other items to represent your favourite character as well. It's up to you if you'd like to use original handcrafted items or simple store-bought pieces to so enjoy the freedom of dressing up as a special character. Let your creativity run wild and show us how you would dress up to represent your favourite character in real life. So this is actually a contest. So this says entries may be showcased on our official so sh social media channels during a digital fan festival stage event or on our website. So by submitting a submission, you agree to abide by these guidelines. So if you do get chosen, then these things might be shown off on social media and indeed during the actual live event, which is kind of cool. So the guidelines then. You must possess an active Final Fantasy XIV servers account. You cannot do this if you're on a free trial, so you need to have a full one, and you must agree to the guidelines. This will have an entry period of Friday, March the 19th at 12 a.m. PDT until Friday, April the 16th, where the cutoff is at 7.59 a.m. PDT. There is a theme. It says showcase your appreciation of your favorite character. Dress them up uh, as them however you'd like to. Uh, but basically, apart from that, the choice is up to you. So that's the only theme. So you could dress as a cactuar, or you could dress up with just a hat on that has the logo, or I don't know, anything you want. There's a submission box, as they say, how to submit. So basically, you go on that, you log into your Final Fantasy XIV account, you then fill in all of the information, like your home world, your character's name, uh, for prize, obviously, character you're representing, uh, so for the character. If you choose others, please specify. So if you're choosing to represent yourself, then obviously, you know, you choose that. If not, then, you know, you fill in that. And you've got your home world, obviously, all of those details that were needed. And uh, you can actually put a comment of up to 200 characters in there. So there we go. And also, if you were to get a item, what item you would like to get. And the upload of the file there. Uh, you can't have over three megabytes per file, so there's that, and it can be in JPEG or PNG. So that shouldn't be too difficult, as you can see there. And you plop that up there, you press submit, and you're good. So these are the in-game participation items. So all qualified participants will actually receive one of the following items. So just for participating, you will actually get these items, okay? One of these items. You don't necessarily have to win or anything like that if you are participating you will get something like that that's really cool so you can get either the mandragora choker or the araman choker if you're unfamiliar this particular choker here the mandragora choker is the one that chloe aliapo uses which currently the only way to get this in the game both of these actually are through contests like this so they are pretty unique and they're pretty rare and they are cool to to have on your character so yeah they do say there's some other recommendations in red you might want to read through in your own time. I'll link this in the description. Make sure you take your pictures in well-lit areas. Uh, make sure it only includes yourself. No group photos are allowed. Okay? And uh, refrain from asking third parties to take photos for you. I mean, that's for your own safety, but obviously, you know, you're not going to just have a million selfies. And uh, please avoid submitting photos that expose too much skin. Please do not submit any photos that could be considered inappropriate. So that's all kind of obvious. They don't want you to, um, yeah, they don't want it, that to be a thing. <laughs> um, the participation items are scheduled to be delivered on or around Wednesday, June the 30th. So quite a way. Um, but yeah, just participation. 
and you'll get yourself a nice necklace. It's a nice little thing, isn't it? And obviously, you, you know, make sure you're not violating anyone's uh, copyright stuff. And the disqualification um, information is here. So make sure you're not infringing on anyone or anything. And no public decency and stuff like that. No morals. Stuff like that, basically. Um, but, yeah, I think this is a really good thing. Considering that we're not having an actual fan fest itself in real life, it is a really cool thing. As you can see from a banner, you've got someone dressed as a cactuar there or a blow-up cactuar, and then you've got some cosplayers here. This is a great opportunity. Uh, the fan festival being around the world, being digital, is a great opportunity for people from all walks of life and all backgrounds to take part. And I don't see why you wouldn't do this. Me personally, I'm probably just going to put a hat on, put my old fan fest t-shirt on, and probably cry. <laughs> that'll probably be my picture but um yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing these on social media personally but once again i'll link this in the description uh best of luck and hopefully you'll get one of these lovely necklaces as well because as we all know glamour both in real life and in game is the true end game much love enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you all next time